everyone, this is Trevor with HustlePaintball.com and today we're going to be talking about the Metadyne Industries Havoc Launcher. Now primarily you would see this in scenario games. Uh, the rules on different scenario games tend to vary. Today is just the review on the Havoc Launcher itself. So let's take a look at what comes in the box. So as you can see, what comes in the box here is just the Metadyne Launcher itself and the stock. Now it requires a little bit of assembly to get that stock on the back of this thing and we'll dive into that in a minute. First off, let's just take a look at the Havoc Launcher itself. Now for a hefty piece of equipment, this thing's pretty light. You know, it's 2.55 pounds and with the stock added on top of that, it's 0.5 pounds more. Uh, it comes with everything out of the box that you would need to plug in a tank and play. You got the ASA here, the macro line fittings, and the macro line itself. Uh, all the internals are based in this housing right here, and then you got this barrel. So what we're going to do is we're just going to take a look inside and see what Metadyne has done. So the first thing that we're going to be doing, just like any other paintball gun disassembly, is we're going to make sure that there is no air supply. Obviously there's not, so the next thing on the list is to take off the barrel. This is the piston housing right here, and we'll be getting into the internals in a moment. First off, what we want to do is be taking off that piston housing from the grip frame. Uh, let's get this macro line fitting out of the way. If you don't know how to do that, you just push down on the collar and you pull out the macro line. So now that we got that macro line fitting off and we get everything down to the bare minimum, we want to start taking out the uh, Allen nuts and get this piston housing off of the grip frame. We're going to start with this one right here underneath the trigger frame. And you're just going to loosen that up. And there's also a big guy back here and you want to take him out as well. Make sure you hold on to the bottom of the grip frame or the trigger frame like that so this doesn't just fall off. And there you have your piston housing. Before we get into this, let's talk about installing the stock since we got everything set up to do that. So installing the stock here, first you'll notice that you have uh, two set screws here and you can adjust the length of the stock to your desire. Um, I happen to like it right about here, so I'm just going to tighten that up. And the set screws work really nice, it's nice and sturdy. You can do the same thing with this portion here, there's also a set screw here and one there. And that makes it so you can slide this portion up and down. Uh, so now let's get into installing it. You have this section here on the back of the grip frame where you can just put this guy in and it works both ways. You can either have it this way or you can put it the other way depending on which is more comfortable for you. It comes with this screw right, right here and then what you're going to do is you're just going to take that screw, put it in there, and then grab your Allen wrench and tighten it up. So now our stock is nice and sturdy. You know, it's not going to go anywhere when you're playing with this. It'll be, it's, it's great. I'm really glad that Metadyne added this in the box. You don't have to go out looking for another kind of stock. Obviously, if you want to mod it, you can do that. But straight out of the box, to have it come with a stock is excellent. So now we're finally on the piston housing here. The first thing that we're going to touch on is very important. Why don't you zoom in for a second? Right here there are three separate screws that you do not want to mess with. Uh, the only time you would ever touch them is when they start to come out on, the, on their own and that's when uh, the Teflon tape starts to wear down a little bit. All you would do is reapply the Teflon tape and screw them in and everything is good to go. Uh, that is the only time you would mess with these. I can't stress that enough, don't mess with them. Let's take it apart. This takes a little bit of torque to take apart. 
That's because Metadyne created this so it expands a little bit when it's pressurized and it makes it impossible to take apart. Uh, when you unscrew it a little ways, you just want to pop that off. And here you have your piston assembly. You got the spring, the piston, and the seal. Now, I can't stress enough that Metadyne themselves has said when you lubricate anything in the Havoc launcher, you want to be using pure Vaseline. That's it. Uh, anything else can cause a lot of troubles, so you just want to use Vaseline. You got a screw on top here that is Loctited. Uh, if you do ever want to take all this apart, make sure you have some Loctite so when you put it back together, it's going to be there nice and tight. Um, here is uh, Metadyne's regulator that they invented just for the Havoc launcher. It regulates, it regulates pressure at 200 PSI. And uh, to take that out, you just want to grab your Allen wrench and remove this piece here. So you have, you have the screw, and you have the spring here, and then to get the piston out itself, you want to take another one of your Allen wrenches and go to the back here, and you just push that little guy out. And this is all it is. This little piece here is a regulator. Um, that makes sure that your accuracy and your consistency is pretty on point.